Yo, what's up everybody? BBAQW here again, coming at you guys with another guide. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to get the Dracoth armor. We have it equipped here. Uh, before we begin, a couple of the requirements you're going to need is the Blinding Light of Destiny. We're going to link our guide to that in the description, as well as the Blade of Awe. And we're going to link our super old 2017 guide video to that in the description as well. So the first thing you'll want to do is slash join confrontation. Once you're here, you will want to click on Dracoth's Armor and build Dracoth's Armor. You are going to need three unidentified 13s, a hundred treasure chests, one the chocolate, Binding Light of Destiny, Blade of Awe, 13 Dage's Scroll Fragments, and a Face of Chaos. So we're going to start off with how to get the Dage's Scroll Fragment, and for that you want to slash join Mount Doom Skull. Now this is a daily quest, so Dracoth's Armor will take 13 days in total. Once you're here, you want to click on Lore Master Maya, go to Quests, and you want to go to Embrace Your Chaos Daily. Now, uh, here you'll see it will give you the Dage's Scroll Fragment, and basically what you need to do is slay any of the Chaos Monsters up here. Let's go and take a look. Just kill the Chaos Spiders, Chaos Draconians, any of that stuff until you have your Chaos Power increased. So, uh, the next thing we're going to go over how to get is the 100 Treasure Chests. Now, from playing AQW up to this point, you will notice that treasure chests randomly drop from monsters. I believe it's like a 1% to a 0.5% drop from literally any monster in the game. So, uh, basically, just farm the lowest HP thing you can find until you have 100 of these, if you don't already. Uh, the next thing you will need that we will show you how to get is the Face of Chaos. Now, to get the Face of Chaos, you will want to slash join confrontation again. Uh, once you're here, your weapon will most likely be covering it, so you can just do slash cheer and click Ultra Dracoth Battle. Once you're here, you will want to go off to the right here and kill the Champion of Chaos. He does have uh, 923,000 health, so you're going to need to kill him a bit of times until he drops his face of chaos. So I'd recommend doing this with a big group of friends. Is uh, he doesn't hit very hard, so you can solo if yeah, you need so to. Yeah, so you can solo him if you need to, but I'd recommend getting a big group of people together. So the next thing you'll need is the three unidentified 13s. Now, if you are a Nolgath farmer, you should know by now how to get these. There are many methods. If you have Crag and Bamboozle, you can do the contract exchange quest where you turn in um, 15 diamonds and the Nolgath Room 9, which you get from the Dark Makais, to get a unidentified 13. The other way is, of course, from the Nolgath Larva. So I assume if uh, most of you are not really Nolgath farmers, um, you're going to want to know how to do this. So here's the Nolgath Larva. He has a quest, and the unidentified 13 is a drop from it. You can also do Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance from Drudgeon. But let's show you guys how to get the Nolgath Larva. So at our house, we have Nolgath. Um, if you don't have the enchanted Nolgath Nation House, you're going to have to get to him on your own. Uh, so we'll show you that here. You want to join the Turkish Hunalum uh, portal, or which is in slash join Citadel. You can also join that through our house. Go up through this portal here, and you will need the following. You will need uh, Arakar's Fang, 50 Bone Dust, uh, de 50 Defeated Makai's, uh, Hydra Scale, Eshron's Chain, Oduchro's Tooth, Strand of Vath's Hair. So you want to head to the left. Then you want to go to the middle. Then you want to go to the far left. Then you want to go to the bottom. Then you want to go middle, right, middle, right, right. Then you want to head to the left and to the left. Here you will be at Nolgath. You want to click on him, collect him. Do not move or he will one-shot you. Go to his quest, go to his shop, go to um, Drudge and the Assistant click on the informational button, and then do Hire Nolgath Larva. To get that, you'll need the Voucher of Nolgath and the Nolgath Rune 1, which is dropped from the... What's it called, Raj? Uh, the Undead Legend. Yeah, the Undead Legend. So to get the Voucher of Nolgath, you will have to farm either Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance, or uh, somebody use somebody else's Nolgath Larva. Now, after you've obtained your three unidentified 13s, you'll need to get Le Chocolate. To get that, you will go to your map... Go to Sand Sea and go to Hyperium Starship. Now, before you do this, 
I would recommend buying a Potion of Evasion from Alina in Battleon and equipping a class that increases your dodge chance, like Ninja. Uh, here I'm using Swordmaster Assassin, so what you want to do is use this and use your potion and then run through and hope the defense turrets do not one-shot you. <laughs> now once you're through there, you want to head into this room and here you'll see a bunch of basically uh, gauges, but uh, they're basically clocks. So uh, the order of which you want to hit them is you want to hit 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and then 11 o'clock. And that will open up the shop here where you can buy your uh, Le Shaped Chocolate for the small price of 3,750,000 gold. We will also link our video on how to get gold, how to get to Nolgath, how to get the Blinding Light of Destiny, how to get the Blade of Awe, all in the description below. So let's head back to Confrontation. And here you can turn in and get your Dracoth armor. So you guys may be wondering, does it use up my Blinding Light of Destiny? And does it use up my Blade of Awe? Yes, it does, but you can get both of those back from your Book of Lore. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.